Hello students. I hope you are safe and healthy, happy and peaceful at your home. We have uh, discussed in earlier two videos. In first video we have discussed the story number one. In second video we have started story number second. And today we will proceed further with the next plot development of the <coughs> story. Page number 18, last stanza. Why not organize yourself into a cooperative? I ask a group of young men who have fallen into a vicious cycle of middlemen who trap their fathers and forefathers. Even if we get organized, we are the ones who will be hauled up by the police, beaten and dragged to jail for doing something illegal, they say. So now this statement is very important statement because it is reflecting the reality. Means author has criticized uh, and satirized the, means this is a kind of uh, means social also uh, reflection, the society's reflection and in political also we can observe the same thing that how uh, they are also using the bureaucrats or policemen, CBI and uh, they, they are thinking to do something different. So here also, uh, why not organize ourselves you, yourself in a cooperative, I ask the group. So here, suppose you will be thinking to do something with the help of group or the cooperative uh, societies or such type of structure if you will prepare, then some authentication will come, banks will also respect you, you will get uh, funds also and then you can run that project effectively. Here now what is the thing happening? Everything it is kind of illegal thing because uh, small children they are working, proper setup is not there, they are taking money from the money lenders or saukars and they might be taking more interest also. So we can think about the nationalized banks. So they suppose such type of co cooperative uh, projects, then uh, some banks is especially the nationalized banks, uh, they will give them funding. So it is very important, I feel, that everyone should think about them, that those who are the workers, those who are working in non-organized sectors, uh, they should be organized and properly uh, some important uh, projects they should set with the help of everyone and then there would be security for them like this bangal makers here one example it is given and then one word here author is using that is vicious cycle vicious cycle here means everyone would be involved everyone would uh, also cooperate everyone means in wrong way they would cooperate everyone because suppose money lender money lender will give the money then police will not interfere in that because they will also uh, get some part from that or there would be such type of change. So like that here, suppose bureaucrats, they will also demand something from them. Means all the officers nearby concerned with that, officers will also be involved in that. Or sometimes local politicians also be involved in that. So here, this type of uh, vicious cycle uh, and then those who are poor, those who are very, uh, means they are away from the society, deprived people, they will not get the justice because other all will oppose them. So this type of opposition, it is not at all good. So I feel here, why not organize ourselves into a cooperative? I ask a group of young men who have fallen into the vicious cycle of middlemen who trash their fathers and forefathers. Even if we get organized, we are the ones uh, who will be fouled up by 
powder mills pull or drag with force they will with by force they will take them into the custody and what charge they will do here police beaten and dragged to jail for doing something illegal and now here it is earlier it is mentioned that 20000 uh, children they are working in that uh, bangal making projects so we can think about that that so many children they are working so it is illegal by law it is illegal so we have taken action against you means the real help uh, means in that project they will not do they will not think in positive way that everyone should help the bangal makers because they are not getting one time also enough uh, food to eat but they will not have sympathy for them but they will just show the law so this is not at all good i am not in favor of the child labor here but i am thinking about the condition of the bangal makers if they would organize themselves and if they would wish to uh, set up some business in cooperatives then others are not supporting in that aspect i am speaking so that is the very important concept we have to keep in our mind then next there is no leader among them no one who could help them uh, see things differently so here this is again here it is uh, there is no such type of leader no one will take their side and one more no one who could help them see things differently their fathers are as uh, tired as they are they talk endlessly in a spiral that moves from poverty to apathy to greed and injustice and here again one more thing uh, in this lesson author is stating that is injustice injustice from the society and injustice from the bureaucracy injustice from policemen or politicians saukars togetherly they will oppose them and that would be social injustice to them and they will not be able to oppose them because they are not powerful they are not rich and they are illiterate so they don't know how to fight with them legally also they cannot fight because if they will where they will go if they will go to the uh, court means here lawyers also they will also demand the peace how they will give the peace means legally also there is a problem so what they will do they will not rebel against such type of vicious cycle and then everything they will just uh, accept that as like a slave they will not have their own ideas their freedom and especially in this freedom india uh, now we are in the independence but then also suppose we will observe that this type of life of the people then we can think that this is not at all good in the in means after independence are they really free from such type of things is our constitution really protecting their fundamental rights then no one will think about this because duties are important as well as fundamental they should also get that right of equality uh, social such type of uh, injustice uh, it should not be there but we have to think everyone now you are the uh, citizen of india especially the youngsters you think dear students and you can change something suppose you will uh, observe such type of things then help them or when you will become leader or engineer or whoever would be means you would be prestigious you would have that image in the society then uh, you can help such type of poor people then listening to them i see two uh, distinct worlds so here one is one of the family caught in a wave of poverty burdened by a stigma of caste in which they are born and here now again two things here author is um, highlighting here one is the tradition the stigma of caste suppose they will born in that class then they have to do the same they will not do another business it means their children will also be involved in the same business even though that business may not be profitable to them so uh, this thing also we have to keep in mind that they are not thinking in proper way then 
means that there is the orthodox way, caught in a wave of poverty. And because of that, they are caught in the wave of poverty. There is no innovation, new things, creativity. As per their interest area, they will not set up their business. And they will not take guidance of others. They will not see what is happening around there. Means how is the world changing according to modern era. They will not change themselves. So they would caught in that wave of poverty. Means the wave is mentioned that they will not be able to come out from that. So here wave of poverty. Uh, this word is here mentioned. Burden by stigma of caste in which they are born. The other vicious cycle and two distinct thing in that this is one that is tradition and the second one here again it is mentioned and what is that second thing that is the other vicious cycle of the saukars and here saukar or the money lender they will give them money and if because of the less profit if they would not be able to give that money again they will charge the uh, double interest and that cycle will be as it is so we can understand that uh, this kind of things are not at all good and they will not be come out from that it means they will not be able to pay them money so in return that saukar or money lender may demand them that you give us the uh, products whichever you are uh, preparing and then that saukar will take all that raw material or the products and then again they will not have money to enjoy their life for their survival whatever money they will collect it will not be there there with them so they are saukar then the middle man. again middle men may uh, give them some money in advance okay uh, this, and you can proceed that middle man will collect all the things from them in very less price and then that person will uh, give in the big malls so here that middleman will take the benefit of that because in due to illiteracy they don't know how to sell that so that means market value market value of that product or how to do the business they don't know so middleman will take all the benefits and actual those who are the producer of that bangles they will not get uh, that benefit so here again middleman's role is very important middleman will be very rich he will become means that middleman will become rich and here those who are actually uh, the producers they will become day by day uh, poor because they are not getting the actual benefit from that so here again the policeman and policeman will again come there they will again harass them because your uh, business is illegal you do not have the certificate from the government to do that they will show so many laws and then again they have to give money to the police also so this kind of thing also it is the keepers of law sometimes here bureaucrats lawyers everyone would be involved in that and then uh, no one will support them then the bureaucrats and the politicians so bureaucrats in that area the officers they will also sometimes uh, may involved uh, or they may support the other means uh, people like here policemen or uh, saukars, money lenders or middlemen and that they togetherly that thing uh, will create so many problems in the life of bangal makers so here the bureaucrats and the politicians and again one more thing it is politician politician will also demand money from them or politician will not help them in that projects they will not actually help them with uh, support of bureaucrats others so actually it is their subjective as a leader but they will also not pay attention uh, to the, you know, the plight of the bengal maker so we can understand that their life is, is in danger together they have imposed the package on the child that they cannot put down and togetherly they will uh, harass them so how any child will take the decision uh, to do something different like Mukesh. So here Mukesh was thinking positively. Mukesh was here ambitious and he wished to do something different. But will it be possible for him because of this vicious cycle? Everything togetherly they will harass them. They will impose 
that baggage from the child like Mukesh. Before he is aware, he accepts it as naturally as his father. And here, before he could aware about all the factors or when he suppose that child will take the decision, before taking the proper decision, that child may think that, okay, so many problems are there, how can I fight with the problems? Will I be able to do that? So, so many questions would be there in the children's mind. And finally, they may accept the father's business or by tradition, generation by generation, they will also be involved in that and no one could help them in that case. Then, to do anything else would mean to dare. Suppose that, that daring, that ambition, that courage, that confidence, there would not be confidence or that perseverance, so many things here required, questions. So they will not have that dare to go against the tradition or go against all the vicious uh, cycle many. So here we can observe that. And daring is not part of his uh, growing up. When I sense a flash of uh, it in Mukesh, I am cheered. And when I observe the Mukesh, I am cheered. So here the narrator is saying, I was very happy to listen to him. Is daring. I want to be a motor mechanic, he repeats. And this reputation, it is uh, signifying that he was firm on his decision. So, a reputation it is. Uh, he will go to a garage and learn. But the garage is a long way from his home. I will walk, he insists. I will walk, he insists. So here, suppose if it, that garage would be long from his house, then also he is ready to go by walk and uh, he will learn all the things concerned with the motor mechanic and he will start his own business. So here, for I will walk. So this will, willingness is there, I will do that, I can do that. Here, positivity in the Mukesh uh, mind, in his behavior we can observe. And we want such type of children actually, that right? they will think on them, they will have such interest in their own creativity, their own decisions. So own decisions, taking own decisions, it is also very important because new generation, this new era, modern life, it is required that whichever the interest area you are good in, you can progress in that more. So here we can observe that. Then. He insists, do you also dream of flying a plane? He suddenly, he is suddenly silent. So here, flying aeroplane or the plane, he was not thinking about the aeroplane at that time. He was thinking about his also life because their life it is in the grinding power. So his aim, he might have said the aim which he can do. So here, because of that, I think here, silent uh, his nature, we can observe that he is suddenly silent. No, he says, <clears throat> staring at the ground, in a small murmur, there is an embarrassment uh, that has not a turn into regret. Uh, he is content uh, to dream cars that he sees hurting down in the street of his town. Few aeroplanes fly over Pirozabad. And again, finally, the statement it is given that few aeroplanes fly over Pirozabad means here yeah. he may not think about uh, the, that high aim due to uh, such type of uh, poverty line, and uh, he may not have that uh, dreams because no one would uh, think about him in that manner, no one would help him. So, suppose. You feel that you can achieve the things. So here, the thing which can be achievable for him, and that is uh, to become motor mechanic, like that, that boy might be thinking. And in his perspective, that things are here uh, correct. So here we can think that if he is content to dream of cars that he sees hurtling down. Hurtling down means uh, move with great speed, and he might be fond of that. And very uh, few aeroplanes fly over, yeah, means here, uh, 
uh, he may not have the proper idea about all that things. Whatever he is observing, actually observing, uh, he would be interested in that. So here, uh, to become pilot, or also many things like that things are little bit higher level dreams. So here, uh, he is set up in such type of dreams which he can be able to do. So up till this year, uh, we can uh, think that two stories, especially when two stories, we will analyze about uh, two stories, what we will understand, especially in the, both the stories. We will compare the Sahib's character, means Sahib Yalam's character and the Mukesh character. Here, what is the difference in both the characters here? Why here author uh, picture at both the characters in front of us? In first character, Sahib's character is, he would be no longer his own master. And here Mukesh is thinking that he would be his own master because he was thinking about his own, to which he was willing to set up his own business. And because of that, he would not be working as like a servant. But here Sahib was working in that pistol and he was not happy at all also. Because he would be as like a uh, servant every time. And any time you can understand that in unorganized sectors, anything may happen. That pistol owner, any time the owner may say that you go, then what will be the thing? There are means the right proper things are not set up. Uh, and we can say, if we will analyze both the characters, both are in the same boat, we can say. Means they were in the wave of poverty, but one is ambitious, one is positive, he is confident, he is willing to rebel against the society and he is thinking differently. So here, positivity, that optimism, we are observing more in the character of Mukesh and that character is uh, means as per the positivity, then we have to follow the character of Mukesh more. Means atmosphere or understanding, sometimes it may be different. So, understanding of the things, uh, it would be different, but uh, we have to keep in mind that what we can do, what we can change. So, here change is required for the society. Change is required for this modern era. And if they would accept everything, uh, as suppose Sahib would accept everything as like a rat picker, then he would be there, whole life he would be involved in that and there will not be progress. Suppose Mukesh will also think the same, that he will help the parents there. And then what will happen? Nothing would be there. Any change you can observe in his personality because after some uh, years, his uh, same problem as like uh, grandparents or the parents, he will also be blind and his life will be also like ordinary life he would also live because of the same he would follow the path of same tradition and there may not be progress in his life. So try to understand both the stories, implied meaning from the both the stories and here uh, some important aspects also highlighted in that child labor, especially now students. Suppose you will uh, get someone like any person like uh, Mukesh or Sahib Alam, then um, discuss with that boy or girl and you can find out what is the actual reason and why they are not taking the education, then you can help them. Or suppose you have, you are, you have such type of dreams, then you can uh, set up an NGO or some groups and that group can um, help them or you can take the help of the Right to Education Act and through that, uh, suppose somebody is harassing that boy or girl, then you can take help of the law also and you can support uh, the children. Uh, I hope that in future uh, such type of uh, problems will reduce and everyone will do such type of projects here. Actually, that will be actually the service of the nation. Means every time we are thinking about the patriotism, what is the real patriotism that everyone must enjoy the freedom. And suppose they are not able to enjoy the freedom, if they are not getting proper education, then uh, 
uh, are they in the independence that question will come and we are not the, we are not in the democracy like that also sometimes we may, we may feel so it, they would also uh, think the same they are also uh, thinking about their survival for the sake of survival for means their fundamental rights uh, it should not be taken away from them so education is very important thing for them so i feel that whenever you will observe any child they are doing something in below age group then you, know, you have to uh, help that child and you can um, give such type of uh, piece of guidance or financially also if possible together in a group you can help so i feel that uh, important concepts concerned with this um, everything i have discussed so once again i would uh, tell you that everyone enjoy learning english be safe